BMW India has added a top of the line 7 series to its lineup with the introduction of the new 2017 BMW M70 Li X Drive. Touted to be the most powerful BMW ever, the new 7 series is available in India in the standard and the V12 Excellence variants priced at rupees 2.27 crore. Powering the new BMW M760 Li is a 6.6 liter M performance twin power turbo 12 cylinder petrol engine that churns out a monstrous 601 PHP and develops a massive peak torque of 800 Nm. The V12 comes mated to the company's tried and tested 8-speed Strepstronic Sport automatic gearbox that sends power to all four wheels via BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. BMW claims that the car can do a 0 to 100 kmph sprint in just 3.7 seconds. Visually, the car looks every bit a product of the M family thanks to the M Sport package and design characteristics. While the signature kidney grille and the headlamps are similar to the one seen in the regular 7 Series sedan, the front bumper is new and features a larger three-part air intake, which is almost as wide as the width of the car. The Honda HRV will arrive in Australia next year and based on that news, Indonesian artist Adrian Ramadhani has come up with a rendering of the car, which incorporates changes that could be made to the car. The rendering created by Ramadhani borrows heavily from the existing Honda CRV but also integrates a few new elements. The changes expected include full LED headlights with bolder DRLs, restyled grille with a bolder chrome embellisher, sportier front and rear bumpers, new alloy wheels and updated tail lamp graphics. Details on the changes inside are not reported but we reckon Honda could update the trim, seat upholstery and equipment on board. The refreshed HRV will most likely retain the 1.8-litre four-cylinder IVTEC petrol engine paired with a CVT, which produces 139 bhp at 6,500 rpm and 172 nm of torque. Maruti Suzuki today launched the new Desire Today in India and the company has started taking the bookings of car at an amount of rupees 11,000. The car is no longer be known as the Swift Desire and instead be called only the Desire. Based on the hard tech platform, the 2017 Desire will be lighter in weight than the current Desire. The new Desire gets major updates at the interiors and exteriors and it is the first sedan in its segment with automatic transmission in both petrol and diesel engines. Under the hood, it's the same power train but is a lot more efficient now. The 1.2-litre K-Series 4-pot petrol is tuned for 82 bhp at 6,000 rpm and 113 nm of peak torque at 4,200 rpm. The 1.3-litre DDIS diesel, on the other hand, makes 74 bhp at 4,000 rpm and 190 nm of peak torque at 2,000 rpm. Both engines compared with a 5-speed manual and automatic manual transmission options. Honda Motorcycles and Scooters India has launched their much-anticipated adventure tourer motorcycle Africa Twin in India at a price tag of Rs 12.9 lakh. The company has also accepted bookings for the same. First showcased at the 2016 Delhi Auto Expo in India, the Africa Twin is powered by a 998cc liquid-cooled parallel twin engine that delivers 94 horsepower and 98 nm of torque. The variant that makes its way into India comes with a DCT transmission setup. Also called as the CRF 1000 OL, the Africa Twin was expected to come to India earlier during the second half of 2016, but the launch was postponed after an earthquake damaged Honda's plant in Hamamatsu, Japan in June 2016. This affected Africa Twin production globally. The Honda Africa Twin will compete mainly against the Triumph Tiger's 800cc range, Suzuki V-Strom and the Kawasaki Versys 1000. BMW has unveiled lightly facelifted versions of the 2 Series Coupe and 2 Series Cabriolet. Among the subtle exterior changes to BMW's entry-level two-door models is a reprofiled front bumper with reshaped air ducts, standard by LED headlamps, LED tail lamps with an altered lens graphic and new alloy wheels ranging in diameter from 16 to 18 inches. Inside the 2 Series Coupe and 2 Series Cabriolet adopt a lightly altered dashboard with redesigned black panel instruments, 
redesigned air vents, new high gloss trim with the center console, a sliding cover for the cup holders as well as a new touch operated 8.8 inch display and updated user interface for the iDrive infotainment system. The subtlety of the facelift is reflected in the engine lineup which remains the same as before. The petrol units range from 100 kW in the base. 118i to 250kW in the M240i, while the diesel extends from 110kW in the 218d to 165kW in the 225d. Isuzu MUX, the latest SUV by Isuzu Motors India, has been launched at a price tag of Rs 23.99 lakhs for the two-wheeler drive variant and Rs 25.99 lakhs for the four-wheel drive variant. Powering Isuzu's latest seven-seater SUV is a 3.0-litre turbocharged diesel engine that produces 177 horsepower and 380 Nm of torque and is PS4 compliant. Mated to this engine comes a five-speed automatic sequential transmission. The company claims that the SUV will deliver a mileage of 13.8 kmpl. Isuzu has also fitted the car with several electronic aids like stability control and traction control along with ABS, EBD, and EBA. There's also hill start assist, dual front airbags, three ISO FIX child seat points and a reverse parking camera on the MUX. Inside the MUX, the biggest attraction is the 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system and the roof-mounted 10-inch display screen for the second and third row of passengers. Renault India has launched the new Duster Petrol range with CVT transmission in India. The new Duster Petrol range will be equipped with the 1.5-litre H4K petrol powertrain in the manual transmission and is available in two trim levels, RXC and RXL. The car will be offered with an introductory starting price of Rs 8.49 lakh. Along with this, the new Duster CVT equipped with the Xtronic automatic gearbox in the 1.5-litre H4K petrol powertrain available in the RXS trim is offered at an introductory price of Rs 10.32 lakh. Duster CVT comes with easy selection drive modes, park reverse, neutral, drive and a 6-speed manual mode option. The CVT is currently offered with 2WD and a 6-speed manual mode is also offered in the vehicle. The Renault Duster CVT Petrol, powered by the new 16 volts 4-cylinder 1.5-litre 4-cylinder unit that produces 106 PS at 5,600 RPM and 142 Nm of torque at 4,000 RPM. The company claims that the Duster Xtronic CVT delivers an ARAI certified fuel efficiency of 14.9 99 kmpl claims. Toyota Kirloskar Motors launched a new edition of its popular MPV called the Innova Touring Sport on Thursday, priced from Rs 17.79 lakhs to 22.15 lakhs. The new edition comes in manual and automatic transmission version of both petrol and diesel engines. Launched in two colors, Wildfire and White Pearl Crystal Shine, the new Innova Touring Sport remains largely the same as the standard Crystal model which was showcased at the Delhi Auto Expo last year and launched in April 2016 at Rs 13.73 lakhs. The Innova Touring Sport is powered by a 2,694cc dual VVT petrol engine mated to either a 5-speed or a 6-speed automatic gearbox with sequential shift delivering a maximum power of 166 PS and 245 Nm of peak torque. Alternatively, a 2,393cc common rail diesel engine generates 150 PS power, 343 Nm torque when connected to a 5-speed manual gearbox and 174 PS power and 360 Nm M torque when a 2,755cc diesel engine is mated to a 6-speed automatic gearbox with sequential shift. Suzuki Motorcycles India Private Limited has launched the GSX R1000 and the GSX R1000R in India at a price of Rs 19 lakhs and Rs 22 lakhs respectively. Suzuki claims that these are the lightest GSX R bikes that the company has ever made. Also, the models have been launched are all new and not just mere updates. The GSX R1000 gets an all new engine that is smaller and lighter with a broader range of torque and power. The GSX R1000 is the first model to get Suzuki Racing Variable Valve Timing from Suzuki's MotoGP race bikes. The other changes include a new and a lighter chassis, show a big piston, folks, 
Brembo monoblock brake caliper up front and RS10 radial tires from Bridgestone. Apart from this, Suzuki has also incorporated a six-direction inertial measurement unit along with 10-level motion track traction control, motion track braking system, ABS, LED headlamps and tail lamps and LED instrumentation as well. The company also says that the aerodynamics of the motorcycle has been improved.